Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now I woke up in the morning and I'm just messing with my hair to fix it before I have to leave to work. So this is basically what I do when I go to work just to get the hair out of my face. Um, I just part it and it doesn't have to be even or anything. And basically what I'm going to do is do two braids. I thought I heard the baby. <laughs> but I'm doing two braids that are going to lead into a ponytail. Yeah, my nails are broken from bagging groceries so um yeah but so i'm just gonna put it in a ponytail basically and just to get out of my face because you do have to go outside and like push cards and stuff so let's just let me shut up you just watch <laughs> gotten one side braided I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it off and put it to the side you will be taking off the little elastic band but for now I'm just putting it to the side and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side because yeah if I don't it just looks kind of weird so I have to kind of braid it to the other side So now that I've gotten both sides down, I'm not going to tie the um, other part because it's just going to go up anyways. The other one was just kind of to keep it from unbraiding. But now I'm just going to put both together and grab all my hair and just tie my hair into a low ponytail. If you put it up any higher, the braids kind of go up higher and it like sticks out weird. So that's why I'm doing a low ponytail. But yes, so that's all I'm doing. And then... Um, if you want to, you can just leave it down like that. Oh, I'm undoing the braid here, by the way, and taking off the elastic. But you can leave it in a ponytail or you can braid it. I'm going to be braiding mine just to kind of keep it from the wind blowing everywhere when I go outside later. But yeah. So the hair is done, but now I'm going to go ahead and get started on the eyes. So I'm just doing a very light coverage makeup. So with my brows, just to clean it up, I use concealer. And I'm only going to do it on one side for the camera. But um, I use concealer and I'm just cleaning it up without filling it in with any products. Just because I'm trying to cover up the, you know, like hairs that need to be plucked and stuff. So basically I'm just lining it up and making it highlighted in a way so that way it, um, I don't know, it looks more shaped than it usually is but that's all I'm doing so I'm not going to be filling it in and I do it that to the top and the bottom. With a Real Techniques brush I just blend it out and I'm not going to use a beauty blender to blend. Um, the concealer on my brows because when I used to do that it just would disappear so using a, a dense fat brush kind of helps me because it still keeps the line there that makes the shape in the first place so I'm just using that and I'm blending it out into my skin because the concealer is pretty close to my skin color and then I use the rest that's left over on the brush to cover up any um, pimples and my whole lid Now with a flat brush, I'm just taking the lightest shade in my Tarte palette and I'm going to be using that to highlight under the brow bone just to kind of lighten it up even more than I already have. So Jaden woke up and I had to go get him, which is purposely the whole point of this video, you know, it's like a a mommy makeup routine but I did the other thing to the other side and um, if you see me bouncing up and down it's just because um, he 
doesn't like to sit still and then I got his binky of course but so now I'm just going to be using concealer and going under my eyes with dark because I have dark circles obviously and um, I'm not you know putting on foundation or anything this is the only thing I'm doing to my face really so I'm just lightening up my imperfection so I'm gonna take a little mini beauty blender and just blend it out With um, the same flat brush that I used earlier to highlight under my brow bone, I'm just using that to highlight my whole lid basically, or not highlight, but just put like a base color because I'm only going to be using one other color in my crease just to kind of give me a shape. So this is just to kind of redo it and just start with a base. And now with the air spun, I'm just taking it and I'm going to be setting under my eyes only. Not on top of my eyes because I don't really need to. This isn't really like a big glam look. But I'm just going to be setting under my eyes. And I'm going to let it sit there while I put the crease color into my eye. Taking the pink kind of taupey color with a blending brush, I'm just going to be putting that in my crease. That is the only color I'm putting. It's just to kind of give me some sort of color, not really um, anything too dramatic. It's just a very light pink nude kind of color, I guess you could say. And then that's all I'm doing. I'm just putting it in my crease. With a more fat, dense brush from Morphe, I'm just going to be, um, what is it called, like brushing away the um, setting powder. And then I'm just going to be putting on mascara. I will say that I, um, my son was starting to move all crazy and get fussy, so I had to stop and the camera stopped anyways. So um, I'm just curling my lashes and putting on mascara. You can't, you can't really see that well because, again, my son starts crying. This is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. This is not at all like a crazy beauty look, but it's just something simple, especially if you're a mom. It's kind of hard to go glam. And if you do, props to you, mama, but that's it. So thank you so much. Bye.